Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Links are in the description below. Please show some love of the author and me. On to the show. Chapter 1. The goal is the sea of stars, the goddess invites. Parallel world, population explosion. Fortunately, interstellar navigation technology has tended to be in a perfect state. Everyone can choose to buy an interstellar spaceship to start their own Shanghai exploration career after reaching adulthood. For today's young people, there is nothing more romantic than devoting themselves to the sea of stars. In the Moon Star Harbor at the moment, many young people are standing on the ship platform in high spirits. Wait for me for a few years, no matter what, I have to mix up a planet lord to come back. Come on, you just return the planet lord? Don't be swallowed by the Shanghai beast. My goal is not high, I can join a small fleet and come back. It will be good to be seen by a certain star sea alliance. For this Shanghai voyage, I have been preparing for 10 years, and I will definitely stand out. Su Yan walked on the platform and looked at the bloody crowd around. Even him, his heart is hot now. Several years have passed since crossing into this world. In this world, human beings' exploration of the Sea of Stars has just started. The endless Sea of Stars is like an unknown treasure house opening its arms to the newborn human beings. No one knows what will happen to you after you leave the solar system? When someone encounters a paradise planet without a master, he immediately becomes a glorious planet lord, and he becomes an existence under one person and more than 10,000 people. There are also people who have just stepped out of the solar system and encountered interstellar pirates. After being captured, they will be slaves in the interstellar mines for the rest of their lives. Shanghai represents endless opportunities and endless dangers. At this moment, an exclamation came from this Star Harbor area. Su Yan followed the sound and looked over, only to see a woman in a tight space suit walking towards him. Under the outline of the tight space suit, her graceful figure is unobstructed. However, the aura around this woman made everyone dare to look from afar and dare not approach. Wow, what a beautiful girl, look at her figure. Shu. You don't want to live anymore? That is the daughter of Lord Tian Yangxing, Yun Qinghan. She is the campus goddess of our Xinghai University, I heard that her father prepared a B-class starship for her for this interstellar voyage. B-class starship? Does it start so high? I've worked hard to save money for more than 10 years, and I can only buy one E-class starship. In Blue Star's market, starships are divided into F-class to SSS-class according to their strength. Even the cheapest F-class starships cost millions of stars to get started. As for the price of starships above B-level, it is an existence that they dare not even think about. Some people are born at the end, and those of us estimate that it is difficult to buy a B-class starship after mixing for decades. It would be great if I could become Yunqing Han's crew. A B-class starship in the Sea of Stars is much safer than those F-class small broken ships. Come on, how much do you think you are? The minimum standard for recruiting crew members on Yunqing Han's ships is to have a certificate of ability of B-level or above. If I had a B-level ability certificate, I would have followed by now. Ability credentials refer to a series of technologies required for interstellar navigation, such as interstellar driving technology, ship engineering repair technology, and space nutritionists. After a normal college student graduates, it is almost enough to have a C-level competency certificate. Holders of Class B ability certificates are estimated to be found only in those guilds. Everyone also sighed and it seemed that the goddess ship was not ready to board. But at this moment, they saw Yun Qing Han walking straight towards a man. Su Yan, do you want to get on my ship? Be my crew member? What's the situation? This man, no matter how you look at it, is a fresh graduate. What is his ability to let the captain of a B-class starship personally invite him to be a crew member? The people around are also a little surprised. Is there anything special about this young man? At this time, a yellow-haired man came over in disbelief. Yun Qing Han, I'm a B-class spaceship pilot, you don't even like me. Don't you look down on me now that you invite a hairy boy? Why can this kid get on your boat? Is he handsome? A few people around were also a little unconvinced. 
They were all crew members who had previously requested Yun Ching Han to recruit. After being rejected by Yun Ching Han, they were also looking for the next captain here. And at this moment, Yun Ching Han said indifferently, He is the pilot of the A class starship, are you? What? Is this kid a class A starship pilot? Su Yen coughed dryly, and then said to the yellow haired man next to him, Although I admit that I have some good looks, I believe that Captain Yun should be interested in my talent. Graduated from Xinghai University with the first grade in the school, and also has A class starship driving certificate, A class starship maintenance engineering certificate, A class starship combat certificate. This, how is this possible? He is not even 20 years old. The people around couldn't help but take a deep breath. An A-level skill certificate takes at least five years for a normal person to obtain. This kid has so many skill credentials just during college? Is he a monster? Yun Ching Han also took a fancy to Su Yan's talent. A crew member with multiple A-level skill certificates was a sweet treat there. Even Yun Ching Han heard that the Sun Alliance had invited Su Yan to join the Sun Alliance, but Su Yan refused. For such rumors, Yun Ching Han naturally did not believe it. Because she knows very well that the Sun Alliance is a powerful organization composed of several powerful planet lords. If the Sun Alliance invites me, I will definitely choose to join. Yun Ching Han looked at Su Yan again, Su Yan, are you willing to be my crew member? Everyone next to him thought Su Yan would agree. After all, Yun Ching Han's family has a big business, and the start is a B-class starship. What can be refused? At this moment, the voice of the system appeared in Su Yan's mind. Check-in location detected, Moon Star Harbor. Do you want to sign in? Um? Unexpectedly, at this time, my own system actually jumped out. The reason why Su Yan has so many A-level skill certificates is because he has this God-level sign-in system. After each check-in at a location, Su Yan will receive a random reward. Su Yan decisively chose to sign in. Sign in successfully, congratulations on your successful acquisition of the S-Class ship Hyperion. Coming. I was in need of a suitable ship for interstellar voyage, and after checking in so many times, it was finally ship. Chapter 2, Your Starship? The Hyperion is coming. Sorry, let me refuse to be your crew. Reject? Yun Ching Han was stunned for a moment, she really couldn't think of why Su Yan would choose to reject her. Isn't the reason why he appeared here to prepare for interstellar voyage? I own a B-class starship. In today's starport, which captain's ship has a higher rank than myself? The people around were also stunned. Su Yan actually refused the invitation of a B-class captain? If it was them, they would be willing to go up and clean the deck. Can you give me a reason for rejection? Yun Ching Han couldn't accept it, she didn't want to lose an excellent A-level technician. Therefore, after careful consideration, Yun Ching Han also asked Su Yan why he refused. And Su Yan also touched her nose, I have my own starship. Just kidding, be the captain of an S-class ship, and be the crew of a B-class ship. Anyone whose brain is not broken will make the same choice as Su Yan. And when these words fell in Yun Ching Han's ears, Yun Ching Han couldn't help but feel a bit of annoyance in his heart. You know, Su Yen usually lives in Xinghai University very restrained, like a rich man at all. Funds from him to buy starships? For an ordinary person to buy a starship during college, it is simply a fantasy. At this time, Huang Yang, the captain of the D-class starship Huang Shan, also came over. Huang Yang is also a child of a wealthy family. For this interstellar voyage, he also spent a lot of money to buy a D-class starship. Goddess Yun, can't you hear it? This kid doesn't look down on your starship and is looking for an excuse to reject you. He's a poor boy, and if he can afford an F-class starship, he has won the lottery. Su Yen glanced at Huang Yang with a contemptuous smile. This guy named Huang Yang, Su Yen knew very well that he was just one of Yun Ching Han's many suitors. Seeing that he was rejecting Yun Ching Han, he wanted to come over and step on him to highlight his own merits. And Yun Ching Han obviously listened to Huang Yang's words. After all, everyone knew Su Yan's economic strength. 
Su Yan, if you want to reject me, you can say it directly. Even Yin Ching Han didn't believe that Su Yan could afford a starship. Su Yan spread his hands, I do have a starship, and I plan to do interstellar voyages by myself. At this time, Huang Yang was also on the sidelines. Since you said you have a starship, where is the starship? Huang Yang chuckled, this is the moon star port, and it is also the largest star port in the solar system. Those who are about to embark on interstellar voyages will all start from here. Now that everyone's starship is here, where is Su Yan's starship? The people around also showed a look of good drama. Even if Su Yan has a starship of his own, can his starship compare to Yun Ching Han's? That is a B-class ship. To get a B-class ship requires not only huge funds, but also a very important background. And Su Yan lifted the tech watch on his wrist, and the tech watch also displayed Su Yan's attribute panel. Name Su Yan. Race, Humans of the Solar System. Psionic value 100-100. Power 1-2. Physique 1-0. Goddess Yun, can't you hear it? This kid doesn't look down on your starship and is looking for an excuse to reject you. Spirit 2-0. Skills, A-class ship driving technology, A-class ship engineering maintenance technology, A-class ship combat technology. Holding ship, S-class Hyperion. System, where is my starship? Su Yan was also curious about how her Hyperion would appear. After all, this is the Moon Star Harbor. If an S-class starship appears out of thin air, it will definitely be tracked down by the Sun Alliance. At this time, the system also gave Su Yan an answer. Answer to the host, the starship has appeared in the no man's land of the solar system, and is preparing for the transition at the moment, and it is expected to arrive at the moon star port in five minutes. In five minutes? Su Yan was quite satisfied with the explanation of the system. In this case, the S-class ships that appeared out of thin air would not attract the attention of the Sun Alliance. At this time, seeing that Su Yan was silent, Huang Yang thought he had pierced Su Yan's lie. What? Where's your starship? Enough. Since you don't want to be my crew member, let's meet Xinghai again. Yun Ching Han couldn't stand Huang Yang's ridicule, so he directly interrupted the farce. When leaving, Yun Ching Han glanced at Su Yan. Su Yan didn't seem to take Huang Yang's ridicule to heart at all, was he looking at his tech watch. It looks like it really looks like a captain who is waiting for his ship to land. Yun Ching Han sighed, originally, she still had a good impression of Su Yan. But after this incident, Yun Ching Han's goodwill towards him was completely dissipated. At this moment, Huang Yang also glanced at Yun Ching Han, who was leaving. Boy, don't make your face fat, starships are not something that a poor boy like you can have. Your wealth, the interstellar pirates will shake their heads when they see it. But at this moment, a burst of radio suddenly sounded from the lunar port. Attention, S-class ships are entering the port, please pay attention to avoidance of ships in the port. Attention, S-class ships are entering the port, please pay attention to avoidance of ships in the port. Attention, S-class ships are entering the port, please pay attention to avoidance of ships in the port. After three consecutive notifications, everyone in the lunar port boiled. S-class ships? In the entire solar system, the existence of S-class ships is enough to be regarded as rare. An S-class ship is not only expensive to build, but is basically the flagship vehicle of the planet lord level. Could it be that there is a powerhouse at the level of a planet lord? Everyone couldn't help but look towards the port, only to see a magnificent and powerful figure slowly entering the port. Compared with the behemoth in front of him, the ship next to him is completely as small as a model. The battlecruiser Hyperion has arrived at the lunar port. In order to allow the Hyperion to drive normally, the system has automatically equipped it with 1000 Marvin robots as crew members. Yun Ching Han was also stunned. She originally thought that her red flame, as a B-class ship, was already the most beautiful boy in this star port. Who knows, the sudden arrival of the Hyperion is like an air fortress standing in front of them. At this time, Su Yan looked at Huang Yang and said lightly, my ship has arrived, how? As soon as these words came out, everyone in Xingang focused on Su Yan. 
He said, this ship is his? My starship has arrived. Su Yan looked at Huang Yang on the side, and at this time, Huang Yang glanced at the Hyperion and then at Su Yan. The next second, Huang Yang looked at Su Yan as if he looked at the god of plague. Those who can own such an S-class ship are either rich or expensive. Maybe it is a big figure in the Star Alliance. Su Yan so arrogantly said that this is his ship, which is tantamount to offending the owner of this ship. Su Yan, you are crazy. This is an S-class ship. Those who hold S-class ships in the entire solar system are either planet lords or senior officials of the Sun Alliance. Even if you brag, there is a limit. If you offend the owner of this ship, no one can protect you. Huang Yangren was stupid. I didn't expect that at this time, Su Yan actually said that this S-class ship belonged to him? Does he understand the gold content of S-class ships? At this time, everyone around could not help but stay away from Su Yan. They don't want to be affected. This kid really dares to say that it is an S-class ship. The person who owns the ship must have a strong background. Hey, why have I never seen this S-class ship? Is there a new planet lord returning to the solar system? No matter who it is, that kid named Su Yan is finished. There must be a limit to bragging. How can an S-class ship be owned by a poor kid like him? I don't even dare to think like this in my daydreams, I'm afraid this kid is not crazy. Su Yan's current behavior is tantamount to a lunatic pointing at a planet and saying that the planet is his. Ridiculous. At this time, even Yin Qing Han hurried over and stopped Su Yan immediately. Su Yan, are you crazy? This is an S-class ship. Even if you brag, you have to have a limit. But at this moment, Su Yan looked blank. My ship is this S-class ship. Crazy. Su Yan is this crazy? Just then, the hatch of the Hyperion slammed open. For a time, everyone in the lunar port could not help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. I don't know what is the origin of the owner of this S-class ship. Yun Qinghan also glanced at Su Yan, is this guy crazy? Now, even she can't save Su Yan. The hatch opened wide, and then, a large number of Marvin robots lined up in two rows. Captain, please board the ship. Su Yan walked straight to the cabin door and looked at the Marvin robots on both sides. Su Yan also sighed at the caring system. Without so many Marvin robots, it would be really difficult for him to drive such a huge ship by himself. Yun Qinghan and Huang Yang's eyes widened, they couldn't believe their eyes. Su Yan is actually the captain of this ship? Su Yan, he, he went in? Huang Yang still can't believe that Su Yan's starship is actually this S-class starship? What are you kidding? This is an S-class starship. S-class starships are not just for money. After Yun Qinghan saw Su Yan entering the cabin door, his heart was like a stormy sea, and he couldn't calm down for a long time. She kind of knew why Su Yan refused to be her own crew member. If it is her, who owns an S-class ship and has to be a crew member, isn't that a sick head? But at this moment, the yellow-haired youth just now suddenly knelt down in front of Su Yan with a slippery shovel. Big brother, I just didn't recognize Mount Tai, can I get on your ship? I don't want a salary, I'd be happy to even let the F asterisk CK deck. Before he finished speaking, another engineer jumped out. Boss, I am a B-level mechanical engineer. With so many robots on your spaceship, you must be in need of a mechanical engineer. Boss, look at me, B-class spaceship pilot, absolutely reliable. Brother, look at me. I'm a C-level space nutritionist. I don't need a salary, F asterisk asterisk KU. Even a C-level skill certificate dares to apply for the job, it's not shameful to lose it. The Moonstar Harbor directly exploded the pot. Some B-level skill credential personnel who are usually self-confident, jumped out one after another. There are even some A-level skill credential personnel touching their chins, considering whether to jump ship to become a crew member on Su Yan's ship. That's an S-class ship. After getting on the ship, even if you are bragging in the future, you will have capital? When you think about drinking in the future, when someone asks you which starship you have stayed on, you directly say that you have stayed on an S-class ship. Isn't that awesome? 
At this moment, in the office of Moon Star Harbor, Moon Lord Lin Yuemi looked at the Hyperion docked in the Star Harbor and couldn't help but gasped. It's a genuine S-Class ship. How did this kid get this ship? I know the S-Class ships of the entire Sun Alliance, and this ship has never appeared. Lin Yuemi couldn't help touching his chin, and there were traces of Su Yan's birth origin. He must be a pure blue star human, but he was able to get an S-Class ship under the eyes of the Sun Alliance. This kid has some skills. Moon Lord Lin Xingha looked at Su Yan in the Star Harbor, and the corner of his mouth rose slightly, this kid will definitely make a name in the Sea of Stars in the future. The person in charge of the nearby Moon Star port couldn't help but wipe a cold sweat. Today's Moon Star Harbor is very lively. First, the Moon Lord Lin Xingha personally drove to the port, and then the S-Class ships entered the port. Change to normal, any one thing is enough to make the person in charge very nervous. But today, these two things have all come together, what the hell? Just then, a lunar soldier hurried in. Lord Lord, it's not good. Miss Lin is gone. What? Lin Xingha directly blew the pot. The reason why he appeared here today was to assist his sister Lin Qingyue into his moon fleet. His sister is an S-Class ship manager, and Lin Xingha will not let her go on an interstellar voyage alone. Lin Xingha, who has experienced interstellar voyages, knows how many dangers exist in the Sea of Stars. Lin Xingha said angrily, what are you still doing? Find me. At this moment, Su Yen in Star Harbor spoke up. Everyone, if you want to be my crew, it's not impossible. As long as you have an S-level skill certificate, you can board the ship. Everyone who was still eager to try, after hearing this sentence, immediately put out the fire. S-level skill certificate personnel are basically controlled by the Sun Alliance. Not to mention the entire Moon Star Harbor, even the entire solar system, it is difficult to find an S-level skill certificate staff now. These S-level skill certificate personnel will be hired by the people of the Sun Alliance as soon as they appear, so how can they be left to them? After hearing Su Yan's conditions, even those A-level skill credential personnel who wanted to change jobs felt restless, seeing that the crowd was quiet for a while, Su Yan did not continue to speak. He is very clear that in this star port, people with A-level skill certificates are very rare. As for the S-level skill credential personnel, unless you are lucky enough to meet an S-level skill credential person who has just graduated and has not chosen his own ship. However, such an existence is tantamount to the existence of Mars hitting the Earth. Thinking of this, Su Yen also waved his hand. He himself is an A-level skill certificate officer. If he doesn't have an S-level skill certificate, why would he recruit a crew member who is more rubbish than himself? Seeing that those people stopped shouting, Su Yen also turned directly into the interior of the Hyperion. Let's go, let's go. It looks like this, Lord, doesn't plan to recruit crew. The S-level skill credentials are basically recruited by the Sun Alliance. Who would be willing to be a loner with him? Anyway, they are also talents with several A-level skill certificates, and it is understandable that the recruitment conditions are higher. Well, if you can get on the ship, you will have capital for bragging in the future. Su Yen activated the tech watch and began to remotely control the hatch of the Hyperion. The huge hatch closed slowly, and Su Yen also turned to enter the interior of the Hyperion. But at this moment, Su Yen didn't notice that a figure like a vigorous civet directly grabbed the closing hatch. Then, the figure entered directly into the interior of the Hyperion. It's just that the current Su Yen didn't notice, he went straight to the interior of the Hyperion. Visiting the interior of the Hyperion, Su Yen couldn't help but sigh. It has to be said that the Hyperion is a monster-class battlecruiser, its interior space is extremely broad, and various areas have strict division of labor. The arsenal, laboratory, bridge, and bar are now equipped with Marvin robots. These Marvin robots follow the simple instructions already programmed by the system to maintain the normal operation of the Hyperion. Su Yen came to the bar, and the bartender Marvin robot skillfully made Su Yen a cocktail. Picking up his cocktail, Su Yen came to the bridge. Here, Su Yen can see the sea of stars beyond the moon. 
Taking a sip of the drink, Su Yen smiled lightly, and then he was about to start his official interstellar journey. An S-Class ship, no matter how bad it is, can be a prosperous one in the outer regions of the galaxy. Just then, the bridge received a message. Ding, received a newsletter application. Connect to the communication application. Su Yen was also a little curious as to who sent him the communication application at this time. After the communication application was connected, a familiar voice came. Su Yen, it's me, Yun Ching Han. Yun Ching Han? What is this guy doing for himself? Now that she saw her Hyperion, she should have given up the idea of recruiting her. Su Yen, can you let me join your fleet? Of course, this is temporary. You should know that there is a group of interstellar pirates roaming the edge of the solar system right now. These interstellar pirates make a living by looting us interstellar voyagers. You have S-Class ships. If we form a fleet, those interstellar pirates should not act rashly. Interstellar pirates? Su Yen touched his chin, he had also heard about these interstellar pirates. There are some interstellar pirates entrenched all year round on the edge of the solar system. These interstellar pirates relied on the exploitation of fledgling interstellar voyagers to obtain a lot of benefits. It's not that the Sun Alliance has not been attacked, but these interstellar pirates are like flies. As soon as the fleet of the Sun Alliance arrives, they flee. When the fleet of the Sun Alliance leaves, they will come again. These interstellar pirates are the first difficulty for a voyager who wants to sail on the Star Sea. If you are unlucky enough to encounter these interstellar pirates, you will be over by paying some protection fees. If you are lucky, you are likely to be directly captured by the interstellar pirates, and then thrown into an unknown mine to mine for a lifetime. Therefore, in order to improve their survival rate, interstellar voyagers will choose to rush out of the solar system together. Wait until it's safe to part ways. At this moment, many interstellar voyagers have been eyeing Su Yan's Hyperion. After all, it is good to enjoy the shade under the big tree, if they follow Su Yen out of the solar system, even if they encounter interstellar pirates. Those interstellar pirates may also retreat after seeing Su Yan's ship. It turns out that you want to team up with me to deter those interstellar pirates. If an S-Class ship is combined with a B-Class ship, it will indeed make those interstellar pirates slightly afraid. If you add some other fleets, the gathered power is enough to frighten those interstellar pirates. After all, the solar system is located in the outer area of Xinghai, and the interstellar pirates wandering in this area are all little guys who can't get along in the inner sea of Xinghai. They only dare to loot some lone ships, and when they encounter a fleet of a little size, they will immediately flee. In exchange for the interstellar pirates in the inner sea of Xinghai, they even dared to loot the ships of the regular organization. Yes, if you are an S-Class ship traveling alone, it is very likely that you will be targeted by those interstellar pirates. So, we form a fleet to rush out of the solar system together. This is the safest way. Yun Ching Han is also trying his best to convince Su Yen, although he doesn't know how firepower Su Yen's ships are. The appearance alone is enough to give people a sense of deterrence. If they can form a fleet with them, the chances of them being targeted by interstellar pirates will undoubtedly be greatly reduced. The imagination was beautiful, but Su Yen refused directly. I'm sorry, but you should go find someone else for this kind of thing. Su Yen touched her chin and had a bold idea in her heart. He plans to eat these interstellar pirates. Although his own Hyperion is powerful, it consumes a lot of resources every day. If you rely on your own savings, you will have to turn off the fire soon. And the best way to get a lot of supplies is to annex other fleets. In the solar system, these interstellar pirates are undoubtedly the best choice for Su Yen. These interstellar pirates have robbed countless people over the years, and the accumulated wealth is enough to make Su Yen rich. Su Yen has full confidence in the firepower of the Hyperion. At this time, Yun Ching Han didn't know yet, when they were discussing how to avoid those interstellar pirates. Su Yen is planning how to annex those interstellar pirates. Su Yen, are you really not going to think about it again? I wish you good luck, I still plan to go on interstellar voyage by myself. Seeing Su Yen insist, so, Yun Ching Han also sighed. 
It seems that she can only find other ships to cooperate. After all, the activities of interstellar pirates became more frequent during this time. They also don't want to be caught by interstellar pirates as soon as they reach the edge of the solar system. After cutting off the communication, Su Yen also called up the information of those interstellar pirates. Razor Pirates, Fleet Size, 1 C-Class Flagship, for E-Class Frigates. Gem Pirates, Fleet Size, 1 D-Class Flagship, 10 F-Class Frigates. Crocodile Pirates, Fleet Size, 1 B-Class Flagship and 2 F-Class Frigates. Sea Shark Pirates, Fleet Size, 1 C-Class Flagship, 5 E-Class Frigates. These four pirate groups are the cosmic pirate groups entrenched on the edge of the solar system. Su Yan looked at the configuration of the pirate groups in front of him and smiled slightly. Except for the Crocodile Pirates, which has a B-class flagship, the flagships of other interstellar pirates are no more than C-class starships. It is far from the pirate group in the inner sea of Xinghai. It is rumored that the interstellar pirate group in the inner sea area even has an S-class flagship. There's nothing to fear from these little rascals. A light flashed in Su Yan's eyes, he must eat these pirate groups. Turn on the ship's power system and set the target, Pluto outpost. After leaving the range of the Moonstar Harbor, start the sublight speed flight state immediately. Following Su Yan's operations, the behemoth Hyperion began to slowly leave the port. At this time, the Moonstar Harbor also sounded a series of broadcast notifications again. Attention, the S-Class ships are leaving the port, please pay attention to avoidance of the ships in the port. Attention, the S-Class ships are leaving the port, please pay attention to avoidance of the ships in the port. Attention, the S-Class ships are leaving the port, please pay attention to avoidance of the ships in the port. Many ships that were preparing to enter the lunar port were also notified and immediately chose to avoid them. The huge Hyperion is like a steel fortress, driving out of the star port with a mighty force. Many starship captains outside the planet couldn't help but gasp when they saw such a huge ship. Quickly evade, such a ship hits us, our small body can't bear it. When did a starship of this size appear in the solar system, how come I've never seen it? Hey, if I have this ship, I can walk sideways in the solar system. The surrounding ships avoided one after another, compared to the huge body of the Hyperion, their ships were as small as toys. In the star port, Yun Qinghan immediately commanded his crew after seeing the Hyperion leave the port. The Qian slowly sailed out of the port, and the other ships in the star port also started their engines. I saw the Qian sailing out of the Moon Star Harbor, and several star ships quickly followed the Qian. These star ships are the partners that Yun Qinghan found after Su Yan. Several star ships formed a temporary fleet, and many star ships surrounded the Qian. With Qi Yan as the flagship, a temporary fleet is formed. Prepare for sublight flight, target, Pluto outpost. For a time, outside the Moonstar Harbor, a large number of ships turned into a streamer and disappeared in place. At this time, in the Moonstar Harbor, Lin Xingha slammed the table. In an instant, the table in front of him turned into powder. The person in charge of Xingang next to him was in a cold sweat. He knew very well that these planet lords had acquired superhuman strength during their long interstellar voyages. As long as he wants to, he can even directly obliterate himself from the spot. Therefore, when dealing with the moon lord in front of him, the person in charge of Xingang did not dare to take a breath. A bunch of rubbish, so you can't find anyone, Lin Xingha pinched his eyebrows, feeling a headache. He never imagined that he would actually lose his own sister, still lost on his sight. If this was passed on to his eldest brother, his eldest brother would not have stripped him alive. Lin Xingha rubbed his brows and looked out the window at the starships that were leaving the starport one after another. Suddenly, I have a bad feeling in my heart, is this girl secretly on someone's starship, ready to go on interstellar voyage? Thinking of this, Lin Xingha couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. He has been in the Xinghai for so many years, and he is well aware of the risks in interstellar voyages. Although many planet lords will send their children to the Star Sea for trials, the Lin family is the backbone of the Sun Alliance. 
The eldest brother is one of the senior members of the Sun Alliance, and the second brother, Lin Xinghe, is the Moon Lord. As the youngest and most favored third sister Lin Qingyue, the family did not plan to let her go on interstellar voyages. Whether it is entering the Sun Alliance or the Moon Fleet, she can mix well. Lin Xinghe looked at the departing ships outside the window and couldn't help feeling nervous. Third sister, don't think about it. Afterwards, Lin Xinghe began to notify the Pluto outpost. This is the Moon Lord Lin Xinghe, hereby issuing a bounty. If you can find the eldest miss of my Lin family, Lin Qing Han, the one who provides the information will be rewarded with 100,000 star coins. If someone can bring me back, Miss Lin, I can pay 1 million stars. All ships departing from the Moon Star port must go through the registration of the Pluto outpost. The Pluto outpost is equivalent to the border of the solar system. Once they step through the Pluto outpost, it means that they have officially stepped into the endless sea of stars. Near the Pluto outpost, a fleet is entrenched near the Pluto outpost. On the ships of these fleets, a logo of a crocodile skull was sprayed. This fleet is the famous Crocodile Pirates. In the flagship giant crocodile of the Crocodile Pirates, the leader of the Crocodile Pirates is a crocodile. It is rumored that the leader of the Crocodile Pirate group was originally a human, but after being injected with crocodile genes, he gradually became a crocodile man. Although he lost his human appearance, he also gained great power. Boss, according to the news that we have placed in the Moon Star Harbor, the first batch of interstellar voyagers have come this way. A monster with a fish-headed human body also came to the Crocodile Man. The pirates in the Crocodile Pirate group are all monsters mixed with fish genes and human genes. Even if you're human, unless it's an internal job, you have to be injected with fish genes. At this moment, a streamer appeared near the Pluto outpost. The first ship has arrived. If you're enjoying my content, please consider donating a coffee. Or checking out my shirts on Tee Public, getting out of sublight flight state. In an instant, a huge ship like a black steel fortress appeared in front of many warriors at the Pluto outpost. F asterisk CK, S class ships? What's the situation? This S class ship is not in the database of the solar system, it is a brand new S class ship. There are no frigates around this ship, it's a private ship. After seeing the Hyperion, the soldiers at the Pluto outpost couldn't help but gasp. They did not expect that an S-class ship would suddenly come. At this time, Luo Feng, the head of the Pluto outpost, came directly to the command center. When he saw the Hyperion on the screen, he couldn't believe his eyes. Is it really an S-class ship? Or an S-class ship he had never seen before? Ding, ship number 666, the Hyperion sent a customs clearance application. Hurry up and pass him. The staff immediately recorded the information of the Hyperion and sent him a customs clearance certificate. After all, this is a customs clearance certificate for an S-class ship, and the people inside must be rich or expensive. For them, the existence of being able to drive S-class ships is not something they can provoke. Soon, the information about the Hyperion was also in Luofeng's hands. Ship name, Hyperion. Ship type battle cruiser. Ship class S class. Ship owner Su Yen. Su Yen, who was waiting for the customs clearance certificate in the Hyperion, also asked the Marvin robot to bring him a cocktail. The Pluto outpost is the human frontier, and any ship that wants to enter or leave the solar system needs to pass through the Pluto outpost. Otherwise, any ship entering the interior of the solar system without passing through the outpost will be considered an invasion. After the customs clearance certificate is issued, as long as he enters the area of the Sun Alliance in the future, he will be able to travel unimpeded. Su Yan took a sip of his drink, and at this moment, the customs clearance certificate of the Pluto outpost was also sent directly to his technology watch. After seeing the customs clearance certificate, Su Yan was also stunned for a moment so fast? He thought it would take at least an hour for the customs clearance certificate to come down. After all, in addition to himself, there are still many ships waiting for customs clearance certificates every day. However, Su Yan didn't pay much attention to it and directly put away the customs clearance certificate. 
With this clearance certificate, you can leave the Pluto outpost. Ding, check-in location detected, Pluto outpost. Do you want to sign in? Does Pluto outpost also trigger check-ins? Of course, choose to sign in. Sign in successfully, congratulations on your successful acquisition of 1000 Predators. 1000 Predators are now in the dormant cabin of the arsenal, and you can wake them up at any time as long as you need them. A thousand predators? Su Yan showed a satisfied smile. Very good, in this case, your ship's security force will have a certain degree of certainty. The Marvin robot can only perform some of the most basic spaceship operations, and beyond that, it is difficult to even communicate. With the Hyperion where the predators are stationed, even if someone sneaks into the ship, the predators will definitely find them out. Just when Su Yen was about to wake up a group of predators, the ship's communication channel also received a notification. Ding, a communication request has been sent from the Pluto outpost. Communication request for Pluto outpost? Is there something wrong with your customs clearance certificate? Su Yen also decisively connected the communication application on the opposite side. Sir, is something wrong? Luo Feng on the opposite side was a little surprised when he heard Su Yan's voice. Is it a young man? Owning an S-Class ship at such a young age is not easy. Cough, it's okay, I'm just asking, where are you going? I'm an interstellar voyager, and I haven't decided where to go next. Su Yan frowned slightly, he asked himself where to go and what to do, it doesn't do them any good to investigate their whereabouts. Hearing Su Yan's tone a little displeased, Luo Feng also said in a panic, I think you misunderstood. The edge of the solar system is not very peaceful recently. If you are going for interstellar voyage, do you need our Pluto fleet to escort it? Um? Fleet escort? When did Pluto outpost become so enthusiastic? Su Yan decisively refused. Just kidding, if they escort themselves, how dare those interstellar pirates come here? Seeing Su Yan's refusal, Luo Feng also quickly apologized, Sorry, sorry for bothering you. After hanging up the communication, Luo Feng also breathed a sigh of relief. For such a young captain of an S-Class ship, the background behind it must be not simple and it must be right to be careful. The huge ship of the Hyperion slowly drove out of the Pluto outpost. And the crocodile pirate group entrenched near the Pluto outpost also directly eyed the Hyperion. Boss. That ship seems to be an S-Class starship. Lousy is not blind, of course he can see it. The crocodile man's eyes are full of greed now, that is an S-Class ship. If you have an S-Class ship, do you still need to mess around in this corner of the solar system? If he had this S-Class ship, he would be able to make a name for himself in the inner sea of Shanghai. Boss, should we rob this ship? The younger brother next to him also saw the greed in the eyes of the crocodile, and they just observed it. This S-Class ship doesn't even have a frigate, if other S-Class ships travel, there will be at least a few frigates guarding them. But this S-Class ship was traveling alone into the depths of the Star Sea. This behavior, in the eyes of these interstellar pirates, is tantamount to a peerless beauty with heavy makeup hooking on them. Who is it, who can bear it? Damn it, starve the timid to death. Little ones, get ready. As soon as this ship is out of the range of the Pluto outpost, we will immediately surround it. The crocodile man slapped his thigh. After seeing this S-Class ship, other ships were completely boring in his eyes. If you want to do it, do it big. If you can get this S-Class ship, you might be able to return to the inland sea area. The crocodile man's eyes were full of fiery heat, as if ambition domineering was waving to him. On Su Yan's side, he also noticed the traces of the interstellar pirates. However, these interstellar pirates didn't have the guts to do it at this time. At least they will stop themselves when they are ready to make a space jump after they are out of the range of the Pluto outpost. In that case, let's try it. I saw that the corner of Su Yan's mouth rose slightly, and the real hunter often appeared from the prey posture. He rejected Yun Qinghan's application to form a team, and rejected the application for guarding the Pluto outpost. Su Yen drives the Hyperion alone in the endless sea of stars, in order to lure these interstellar pirates to take the bait. 
The crocodile pirates turned their ships around and attacked Su Yan's Hyperion. On the Pluto outpost, the temporary fleet composed of the Qian and other ships also came here. As soon as they arrived at the Pluto outpost, they saw the crocodile pirate group in the distance turned the bow and attacked Su Yan's Hyperion. In the communication channel, Yun Ching Han frowned slightly. How dare these interstellar pirates dare to do something near the Pluto outpost? Su Yan's Hyperion is being targeted. At this time, in the communication channel, someone spoke. Didn't you invite him to form a team before? He chose to refuse. Now that he is like this, it is entirely his own fault. Yes, while the attention of the pirate group is now on Su Yan's ship, it is our best chance to rush out of the solar system. Yun Qinghan frowned slightly, does she really want to let Su Yan be plundered by interstellar pirates? Everyone in the fleet is just a fledgling interstellar voyager. They were scared out of their wits just by hearing the name of the interstellar pirate. Let them go and fight the interstellar pirates, how is it possible? Goddess Cloud, don't worry, this is within the range of Pluto outposts. As long as those interstellar pirates dare to do it, the Pluto fleet will definitely stop it. At that time, that guy, Su Yen, will be plundered at most for some resources. Is this really the case? Yun Qinghan frowned, but she knew very well that it was useless even if she was in a hurry. Even if he wanted to save Su Yen, whether the captains under his command agreed or not was another matter. On one side are vicious interstellar pirates with rich combat experience, and on the other side are some interstellar voyagers with no combat experience. You don't need to think about the outcome of the battle to know who will win. Yun Qinghan sighed, and now she can only hope that Su Yen finds out and returns to the Pluto outpost sooner. Those interstellar pirates may choose to leave due to the deterrence of the Pluto outpost. At this moment, the crocodile man is sitting on the giant crocodile, and he already has an idea in his heart. This time, even if you take all your belongings, you must rob this S-Class ship. The fleet of those Pluto outposts, even if they react now, will take at least an hour to catch up. During this period of time, as long as he can rob this S-Class ship, he will be considered a great success. At that time, with the help of this S-Class ship, I will be able to make a comeback. He is very aware of the gold content of S-Class ships. At Pluto Outpost, Luo Fong also saw the actions of those crocodile pirates. Master, these crocodile pirates seem to be eyeing the Hyperion. After hearing this sentence, Luo Fong also said angrily, I'm not blind. Call out a few frigates, and absolutely cannot let this S-Class ship fall into the hands of interstellar pirates. What Luo Fong was most worried about still happened. Does this guy named Su Yan understand the gold content of S-Class ships? His current behavior is tantamount to a child holding a luminous pearl in front of a group of robbers. Isn't this making trouble for yourself? If this S-Class ship falls into the hands of interstellar pirates, it will not be long before a large pirate group rises. This is the horror of S-Class ships. For the strength outside the inner sea of Xinghai, the S-Class ship is more like a symbol of strength and its influence is far greater than its combat effectiveness. In the Hyperion, Su Yen came to the bar. Click on an elegant piece of music, and the Marvin robot next to him will hand Su Yen a drink. Su Yen took a sip of the drink, not feeling the urgency of the impending battle at all. He even turned on arcade machines and entertainment venues from time to time and played a game or two of the King of Fighters. Calculate the time, those crocodile pirates should almost start. Glancing at the small map displayed on the tech watch, Su Yen stood up. His present indifference comes from the powerful firepower of the Hyperion. Before, he had obtained the ship information of the crocodile pirates. The flagship of the crocodile pirates giant crocodile, although it is a B-class ship, this ship is actually converted from a cargo ship. Its firepower is not even as good as some D-class firepower ships. The main firepower output is two F-class firepower ships, and these two F-class firepower ships are the main output. Warning, a ship is approaching. The scarlet alarm sounded suddenly, and a series of red warning symbols appeared on the screen on the chest of the Marvin robot who was bartending. Su Yan returned to the bridge unhurriedly, his indifference stemming from the powerful firepower of the Hyperion. 
Whenever he panics, it is disrespect to the Hyperion. I saw the figure of the giant crocodile appearing right in front of the Hyperion's route. On both sides of the Hyperion, the other two fire frigates of the crocodile pirates appeared. In the giant crocodile, the crocodile waved his hand. Attack. After destroying the ship's armor, immediately engage in a pickup battle. I'll treat lousy, this ship will be our new flagship in the future. If anyone takes a serious shot, Lousy will seriously destroy the ship, and Lousy can't spare him. Fire The armors of the two fire frigates were opened one after another, and several missile launch pads stretched out. For a time, thousands of flame missiles poured out, rumbling. Gorgeous flames instantly enveloped the entire body of the Hyperion. Even Yin Ching Han at the Pluto outpost could see the terrifying scenes of those missiles falling on the Hyperion. Seeing such a scene, the crocodile man also said angrily, F asterisk CK, who asked you to launch so many missiles and destroy Lousy's S-Class ship. In the heart of the crocodile, Su Yan's S-Class ship is already in his pocket. Thousands of flame missiles hit the ship head-on, and the damage must have been enormous. But at this time, in the communication channel of the crocodile man, the captains of the two fire frigates said tremblingly. Report, we failed to penetrate each other's armor. What? Thousands of fire missiles failed to penetrate the opponent's armor? At this moment, a layer of energy barrier was attached to the surface of the Hyperion, and it rushed out of the flames. Thousands of fire missiles, not to mention the armor of the Hyperion. Even the Hyperion's energy barrier didn't lose much durability, it seems that I still think highly of him. Seeing that the durable energy shield had hardly been consumed, the corners of Su Yan's mouth rose slightly. I wanted to test the defense of the Hyperion. But now it seems that the attack of these two fire frigates cannot even penetrate his energy shield. It's so weak. At this moment, the crocodile man was sitting in the flagship, and his heart was also tight when he saw a layer of energy barrier covering the surface of the Hyperion. Energy barrier? He actually has this kind of defense on his ship. Energy barriers are generally only installed on advanced ships. You know, the energy barrier can provide additional defense capabilities for the spacecraft. However, its energy consumption is also a lot of money, and the average ship would rather strengthen the armor than install an energy barrier on the ship. However, after the crocodile saw the energy barrier, instead of being frightened, the fire of greed in his eyes became even stronger. It's not a loss for an S-Class ship, it even has an energy barrier. Little guys, keep attacking, I can't do it, his energy barrier is endless. Prepare armor-piercing bullets, wait until the energy barrier is destroyed, and use armor-piercing bullets directly. The crocodile man frantically ordered his men to attack. The two fire frigates under his command are attacking again. Countless missiles fell on the Hyperion's energy barrier. Immediately afterwards, the giant crocodile also turned on the heavy laser cannon installed on the ship. Boom! The huge laser cannon landed directly on the Hyperion's energy barrier. The terrifying energy spread directly, and the huge energy fell on the barrier. Everyone could see a shock wave of energy spreading from the Hyperion at the center. Seeing such a terrifying ship attack, many ships at the Pluto outpost couldn't help but gasp. They usually see the battle between ships only in the video. Now, for the first time they saw the battle between ships at such a close distance, and they couldn't help but feel a little fear in their hearts. If it was their ship, it is estimated that their ship armor had been shattered by the first round of fire missile attacks. Su Yan's ship is not a S-Class ship. It's a pity that it can survive so many attacks. If it was my ship, it would have been smashed into slag by now, no matter how high the defense is, his energy shield will be exhausted sooner or later. What will he do at that time? It seems that Su Yan's S-Class ships are just a bit more defensive. Yun Ching Han watched Su Yan's ship face the attack of the Crocodile Pirate Group, and it was as steady as the King of Ming Dynasty. I also have a new understanding of this S-Class ship in my heart. Is this the terrifying power of S-Class ships? If it was her Scarlet Flame, how many rounds of attacks could she survive? At this moment, the fleet of Pluto Outpost officially set sail. 
the uniform Pluto fleet attacked the crocodile pirate group like a torrent of steel. The crocodile man and the giant crocodile saw that the Pluto fleet was approaching, and his heart could not help but become nervous. This S-class ship is much tougher than I imagined. However, he did not intend to give up. This is his last chance to obtain an S-class ship. If he misses this time, he may not have the chance in this life. Thinking of this, greedy thoughts once again occupied the high ground of reason. All ships, full firepower. I don't believe it, I can't open this damn energy barrier today. Activate the laser cannon and aim at the target. Eight laser cannons rise from the surface of the crocodile, a total of 24 laser cannons for the three ships. The power of 24 laser cannons is enough to make a small city evaporate instantly. This is the last trump card of the crocodile man. The current crocodiles don't care whether these laser cannons will destroy the S-class ships. He only knew now that if the Pluto fleet came over in a while, he would not be able to catch anything. Not only that, but he also lost a batch of arms in vain. Fire. Whoosh. 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 24 laser cannons fired in unison, and the dazzling laser energy directly hit the energy barrier of the Hyperion. Everyone could not help but narrow their eyes, and the Hyperion was directly covered by laser energy. After a dazzling light flashed, everyone's eyes fell on the Hyperion. However, when they saw the current state of the Hyperion, their eyes widened. The Hyperion's energy barrier slowly disappeared, but the hull was not damaged in the slightest. Not even the 24 laser cannons left a single scratch on the hull. F asterisk CK, what kind of defense is this Temo? 24 laser cannons just knocked out the energy shield? The power of 24 cannons is enough to destroy a small city. Putting it on Suyan's ship is just to destroy an energy barrier? This is too outrageous, is this the terrifying defense of S-class ships? Yun Qinghan and the others now have a turbulent storm in their hearts, and they can't calm down for a long time. The defense capability of this S-class ship is far beyond their imagination. However, now that the energy barrier has been destroyed, does Su Yen have any other means? Inside the Hyperion, Su Yen glanced at the consumption of the energy barrier. TSK, this energy barrier really can't be opened, and it consumes a lot of energy in such a short time. The Pluto fleet should be coming soon, it's time to end this hunt. Turn on the laser cannon array. Fire. The crocodile man was overjoyed when he watched the energy barrier disappearing from the Hyperion. This damn energy barrier has finally disappeared. In the eyes of the crocodile, the S-class ship finally opened the door by himself. Now, it's time to take it into your own hands. The crocodile rubbed his hands excitedly, armor-piercing bullets are ready, ready for a pickup battle. But at this moment, the laser cannon on the surface of the Hyperion turned its muzzle and aimed at the giant crocodile. Fire! The next second, the dense laser beams like a rainstorm fell directly on the giant crocodile. For a time, the giant crocodile was directly submerged by the laser. Warning, the armor of the giant crocodile is shattered. Warning, the giant crocodile nuclear power furnace is seriously damaged. Warning, the giant crocodile is seriously damaged. The crocodile man sitting on the bridge widened his eyes, unable to believe his own eyes. What is fire coverage? Thousands of lasers hit like a rainstorm, directly destroying the armor of the giant crocodile. The proud armor of the giant crocodile is as fragile as cardboard in the face of the powerful firepower of the Hyperion, less than a minute. Accompanied by a burst of brilliant fire, it exploded in the starry sky. The giant crocodile was directly destroyed by Su Yan's endless fire. The two surrounding fire frigates saw their flagships turn into gorgeous fireworks. They didn't even react. Is the flagship just gone? Their boss just evaporated like that? Not to mention that they didn't respond, even the ships at the Pluto outpost didn't respond. The Hyperion, which was still on passive defense, turned into a star beast after losing its energy barrier. Such a terrifying laser laser rain, even if these ships encounter them, they will not escape death. Could this be the true strength of the Hyperion? This, do we still need to save him? 
It seems that those interstellar pirates need rescue more than him. Several pilots of the Pluto fleet looked at their commander blankly. Their mission was to rescue Su Yen, but Su Yen directly destroyed the flagship of the crocodile pirates with one round of bombardment. In this case, he doesn't seem to need their support. At this moment, the other two fire frigates reacted immediately and quickly turned around to prepare to escape. But at this time, how could Su Yen let them go? The laser cannon array was turned on again, and the dense lasers directly submerged one of the ships. The next second, the laser cannon turned the muzzle again. Another round of bombardment, another fire frigate also directly turned into a gorgeous fireworks. It took less than 10 minutes for three rounds of artillery bombardment. In just 10 minutes, Su Yen destroyed the crocodile pirates. The crocodile pirates had one B-class flagship and two F-class frigates. In just 10 minutes, the entire army was destroyed. At this moment, a large number of carrier-based aircraft appeared around the Hyperion. These carrier-based aircraft are equipped with Marvin robots specially designed to drive. And these Marvin robots began to collect the energy or scattered among the wreckage of these ships. For Su Yen, the role of these energy minerals is crucial. Without the energy ore, the Hyperion would not be able to start, no matter how powerful it was. Su Yen sat on the bridge seat, waiting for the Pluto outpost to contact him. You must know that the giant crocodile of the Crocodile Pirates is a B-class ship. During the battle, Su Yen was very merciful and did not directly beat him to scum. If he wanted to, his Yamato cannon would be enough to vaporize the giant crocodile, but he didn't do it, he still needed this ship to earn his first pot of gold. Ding, a communication application has been sent from the Pluto outpost. Coming. Su Yen decisively connected the communication application, and the other party used 3D projection technology this time. Luo Feng, dressed as an alliance warrior, appeared in front of Su Yen. Hello Captain Su Yen, I'm the head of the Pluto outpost. We have communicated before. Looking at the Luo Feng projection in front of him, Su Yen also nodded. He knew very well the purpose of this outpost master. It is nothing more than wanting to buy the wreck of the giant crocodile from his own hands. For them, buying the wreck of a B-class ship, repairing and refitting it, the resource consumption is far less than the resources required to build a B-class ship. But the crocodile was Su Yan's trophy, and even the Pluto outpost couldn't take it by force. Therefore, Luo Feng also applied for communication with Su Yan. Captain Su Yan, to be honest, your ship's performance is far beyond my imagination. The notorious crocodile pirate group, which fell in your hands, is also a blessing for our solar system. According to the reward amount offered by the Sun Alliance, the reward amount offered by the Crocodile Pirates is 1 million stars. At that time, we will report the situation to the Sun Alliance and transfer this million star coins into your account. Several pirate groups entrenched on the edge of the solar system have troubled the Sun Alliance for a long time. So the Sun Alliance also issued a reward order. These are all rewards that Su Yen should receive, but 1 million stars is just a drop in the bucket for the maintenance of the entire Hyperion. Immediately afterwards, Luo Feng also officially entered the theme. Besides that, we at Pluto Outpost would like you to sell us the wreck of the crocodile. We are willing to give you a reasonable price if you are willing to sell it. Luo Feng also rubbed his hands uneasily for fear that Su Yen would refuse. A B-class ship is definitely a big boost for their Pluto outpost. Su Yen didn't hesitate, he didn't intend to leave the wreck of the giant crocodile. Even if he stayed, he had no money to repair the ship. For himself, it is nothing but a pile of scrap metal. Yes, but what I need is not star coins, but energy ore. The Hyperion is definitely a big energy consumer. Su Yan's top priority is to solve the energy consumption problem of the Hyperion. Even if you give yourself star coins, you will buy a lot of energy ores. It is better to do it in one step and directly use the wreck of the giant crocodile to buy a large amount of energy ores. The wreckage of this giant crocodile, plus the wreckage of the other two ships, I want you to have 100,000 units of energy or no problem. When hearing this, Luo Feng, who was opposite, also touched his chin. 
direct purchase of energy or? This makes no difference. After converting the value, Luo Feng agreed decisively. Make a deal. After the transaction was established, the Pluto ship also recovered the wreckage of the giant crocodile and two other ships. As for the resources of the giant crocodile and the other two ships, they were naturally collected into Su Yan's Hyperion. Soon, Su Yan's Hyperion was anchored in the starport of the Pluto outpost. Luo Feng walked into the interior of the Hyperion with a large amount of energy ores. Su Yan sat in the bar and ordered a cocktail for Luo Feng. As the head of the Pluto outpost, Luo Feng is like Grandma Lu entering the Grand View Garden. After seeing the cocktail in Su Yan's hand, he couldn't help but widen his eyes. There is actually a bar inside this ship? Powerful defense, terrifying firepower, and an internal structure called heaven. Today I opened my eyes. It turns out that this is the interior of the S-Class ship. Luo Feng drank the drink in one sip, feeling refreshed. If it weren't for his duty, he would really want to resign as the station master of the Pluto outpost and get on Su Yan's ship. Such a powerful and comfortable starship, who would not be moved by it, watching the energy or continuously transported into the interior of the ship. The corners of Su Yan's mouth rose slightly. With this batch of energy ores, at least before arriving at the next space station for resupply, he didn't have to worry about the energy problem of the Hyperion. And Luo Feng looked at the batch of energy ores and secretly thought in his heart. This batch of energy ores is worth at least hundreds of millions of stars. Su Yan is just a fledgling interstellar voyager, and he has acquired such a huge fortune. Changed to the former self, at this time, it is estimated that he is still worrying about how to avoid the pursuit of the interstellar pirates. For thousands of years, Su Yan was the only one who did not think much about avoiding the interstellar pirates, but instead gave the interstellar pirates to the interstellar voyagers who robbed them. At a time when other interstellar voyagers were dreading and avoiding interstellar pirates. He used himself as a bait to directly hunt those interstellar pirates. Such a bold move, even Luo Feng did not expect. It is estimated that the Crocodile Pirate Group never thought that they had been in the stars for many years, but they were actually planted in the hands of an interstellar voyager who had not yet rushed out of the solar system. Among the thousands of interstellar voyagers I have ever seen, Captain Su Yen, you are the most promising I have ever seen. In time, I will definitely hear your reputation in the Sea of Stars. Luo Feng also did not hesitate to praise Su Yen. For Luo Feng's praise, Su Yen is naturally undeniable. Powerful defense, terrifying firepower, sitting on the Hyperion, sooner or later, he will make a name for himself in the Sea of Stars. But before that, Su Yen still needs to develop slowly. Money, energy, and ships, all three are indispensable. Now that the energy source is resolved, there is no need to worry too much about the ship's problem. So what is needed now is to solve the problem of money. I need money, a lot of money. After entering Xinghai, whether it is to purchase living resources or maintain the ship itself, it will cost a lot of star coins. As for the reward order of the Crocodile Pirates, the star coins are exchanged for the captains of other ships. After getting this windfall, they may be able to relax for a while. But Su Yan's Hyperion is not good, it's almost enough to maintain this amount of money a few times. Brother Luo Feng, don't look at my current appearance, the energy and star coins consumed by this ship every day are not a small amount. Brother, you are well informed. For the sake of our transaction, how about showing me a clear path? In terms of how to make money, Su Yen, a fledgling interstellar voyager, is naturally no better than Luo Feng, an old fritter. Before Luo Feng became the head of the Pluto outpost, he sailed in the interstellar space for hundreds of years. According to rumors, he even entered the inland sea area for a time. However, he never admitted it. If you want to ask how to make money quickly, you are right to ask him. After a few glasses of wine, Luo Feng also looked at Su Yen more and more. It seems that you also understand that the three things most needed for interstellar navigation are money, energy, and ships. If you want to make money, I suggest you go to the Golden Galaxy. 
The Golden Galaxy has the largest trading post in the open sea. In the trading post, you can acquire the coordinates of unknown ships, and then explore the coordinates of these unknown ships, and then you can get a lot of money. Of course, if you are lucky and come across a ship that is still in good condition, those employers will recycle the ship at a high price, and the profit in it can be imagined. After hearing this, Su Yan's eyes also brightened, is there such a good place? If you don't ask Luo Feng, he may not even know where the Golden Galaxy is. Luo Feng glanced at Su Yan, and then said lightly, I don't tell him this kind of news. Those unknown ship coordinates have certain risks, and some of the unknown ship coordinates are bait released by interstellar pirates. If people who don't know it go there, they may be hijacked by interstellar pirates. However, if it's you, it's not certain who will rob who will be. After listening to these words, Su Yan also raised the wine glass in his hand to express his gratitude to Luo Feng. After Luo Feng and the two talked for a while, all the energy ore was transported to Su Yan's ship. This batch of energy ore is enough for me to not worry about the energy problem of the Hyperion in a short time. Sitting on the bridge, Su Yan opened the interstellar map. In this world, the entire universe has become an endless sea of stars. The Xinghai is divided into several star regions. Below the star region is the star region, and after the star region is the galaxy, the gold galaxy and the sun galaxy are in the same alpha sector. Su Yan planned his route to the golden galaxy on the map. The shortest route, Su Yan only needs to cross five galaxies to reach the golden galaxy. Su Yan sets her next target location. Selecting target locations, Proxima Centauri, Arcturus. The coordinates of the target location have been determined. Prepare for space jump. The Hyperion turned on the space transition state, and Su Yan also fastened his seat belt. After all, a space transition is no less than the speed of light, a journey across a galaxy. After Su Yan fastened her seat belt, the Hyperion also started the space transition. I saw the huge Hyperion disappearing on the edge of the solar system in the blink of an eye. Su Yan, who was sitting on the Hyperion, only saw that the light beam above his head turned into colorful colors, and the Hyperion shuttled through the space tunnel. After a full minute, the Hyperion rushed out of the space tunnel. The space transition has ended and is cooling down. In the distance, an emerald green planet appeared in Su Yan's field of vision. This is Arcturus in Proxima Centauri. Arcturus is the first stop for most interstellar voyagers after their interstellar voyage. Because Arcturus is a virgin forest, here, interstellar voyagers can obtain some meat through hunting. However, everyone will follow the interstellar laws and will not cause damage to the ecology of this planet. Su Yan drove the Hyperion into this primitive planet. After entering the atmosphere, Su Yan could see that the surface of the planet was almost covered by tall and green plants. In these dense jungles, some giant dinosaur-like creatures stick out their heads. When they saw the huge size of the Hyperion, they were also frightened and ran around. You can't do anything here without a bodyguard. Su Yan turned on his tech watch, wake up the predator. Waking up the predator. The 1000 predators that were obtained from the last system check-in were finally useful. Thank you for watching Mystic Realms Recap. Please like share and subscribe. Have a great day.